All right. Hi, Aquarius. So we're going to go ahead and get right into this reading. Once again, it is very, very general. So you should switch into your own guide. It's going to be half your story, part of your story, or 50%. Or you could be a cross watcher dealing with an Aquarius watching this. Um, we're going to go ahead and get right into this reading. Um, somebody can listen to Fabulous here. Um, but what's going on in this reading? It's a lot going on here. Let's let's unpack. Let's get it all together. Let's unpack. Let's let's figure it out. So bliss. I thought it was going on right now. Um, Aquarius. I'm gonna read this card to you. This is the seventh chakra. This is about a crown message. This crown chakra message is kinda like a spiritual message. It says, I seek and find peace, quietness, and moments of bliss in my life. I am persistent on this quest. I allow myself to Feel divine presence radiating within and around me. I allow myself to create abundance of fulfillment and to live a life free of free of fear. Can't even talk. To live a life free of fear. Okay. And meditation is a part of your life. Okay. And like with the hermit card, there's somebody lurking in the shadows. Page of cups. There's somebody here who's lurking in the shadows, watching you, watching your good news, watching your vibes. Um, all these different things here. The 80s could even be of significance. You could hear 80s music or the 80s of significance. Um, so for some of you guys here. Four of Pentacles. Somebody has a secret. And for some of you guys, this is a masculine who has a secret. Okay. This is somebody who thinks they're a fucking player here. Ace of Swords. High Priestess. King of Cups. Queen of Cups and the Moon card. This is somebody here who has a secret. And I feel like L card, this is a loss or seven of swords. What's going on is, I'm just going to rip the bandaid out. There is a masculine here who has a same-sex relationship with another man. And the masculine, um, this could be somebody's ex, or this is your ex. Um, or somebody you have cutting off. Three pinnacles, you've exed this person out, or you've moved forward, or you don't fuck with them no more. Yeah. And whoever this is, they have a same-sex relationship with. This person is fucking dangerous, either to you or dangerous to this person as well. To like, this is a dangerous individual, period. Okay? And it's so funny. Before I can even get to this reading, I got, like, super nauseous for some type of reason. Like, before I can even get into this reading. Um, but this is somebody here who, like, they could have been a player to you here or with the page of swords. This person could have, like, played with you, played with your emotions, okay? Whatever it is with the string card. Like, that could be the issue here. Seven of Swords. This person betrayed you for another man, okay? Or they had a relationship with another man. Four of Pentacles. They were keeping quiet. And I feel like with the Moon card, that is, like, what's hidden here. Or, like, the light. Nine of Swords. This person could feel, like, sad or you were crying. Or some type of sad energy here with Ace of Swords. Like, the truth. Like, understanding the truth. Learning the truth. Understanding the truth. This is what's going on. Um... This person's going to be dealt with. Like, whoever this person is who played you, I thought they played you. Um, this person is being dealt with or they're going to be dealt with, Aquarius. But the thing is that with this situation in particularly, Bob of Swords, somebody could have thought that they had it all together. They had it under wraps or, you know... Three of Wands, they were moving. They had their shit strategically planned. They knew their next move. They knew where they were going. They knew what was going on. This is a very interesting reading. Yeah. I feel like you could be broadening your horizons right now. To worry about your own life. Worry about what's coming next for you here. This is definitely like your ex or somebody in the past. Yeah, whoever this is with the star card, here's your energy, Aquarius. You have the seven of pentacles. I feel like you're about to get your rewards. Or if you brought in your horizons, you know, you will be getting a lot of um, new guidance, okay? From the divine and unexpected ways. Or you may have a way where, like, you always get your downloads, you always get your messages, you always get your news. But, like, that may be changing or may come in an auspicious way or form of delivery. All right, with the Eight of Pentacles and the Six of Cups here, and I feel like all you need to keep your, uh, all you need to do is keep your head down, keep moving, keeping focus, etc. But there is somebody here who played you. How could you play me? How could you play me, baby? You did me shady. You did me shady. Like I don't know, I'm getting that vibe, like. And I feel like you could be like. 
peaceful. Ten of Pentacles, your money is about to be um, leveling up. You're getting a lot of money. You're going to get that job. Some of you guys, you're going to get approved for that apartment or that loan. The Seven of Wands, you have nothing but good news coming in, right? But the thing is, there's like an ex here who's being dealt with. Yeah, with the Hermit card, Virgo energy. This person's being dealt with in a way where it's like they're being scrutinized. Or with the Nine of Cups, they got exactly what they wanted. They're getting exactly what they wanted for you. What they deserve with the Magician card, with the Queen of Wands. Yep. I just heard pretty bitch. Pretty bitch. Yeah, five of swords. I feel like this person's going through a tower. Queen of Cups. And I feel like this is like giving the energy as to where whoever this ex was who played you, okay, with somebody out there, they played you with another man or, or another woman. Some type of same sex shit is going on here, okay? And whoever this person is, they thought that they just. They played you, they got you where they wanted you, they got you in the trap, you fell for the trap, or whatever it may be here, okay? And they could have felt like, they didn't give a fuck. They didn't give a fuck, and that's just what it is. person did not give a fuck here, and I feel like they are very shallow. But the thing is, now they're going to be realizing they're sleeping with the enemy. This person has eyes on you right now. They could be trying to watch you or gauge what you're doing here. Or what you, where or what are you doing to all your horizons. Alright, chase your bag. Or to have, like, bliss in your life. Like, what is your game plan? What's going on? Even though this person is a player here and they could have played you. This person didn't anticipate, um, you know, their cool intentions backfiring on them. Alright, this is somebody here who made a decision okay and like this is something that is going on and has gone on long enough yeah like you know how you meet up with somebody or you hear from somebody in the past and it's like damn so what have you been doing lately or like how has life been treating you or what you've been up to type shit like yeah with the food card this person could be wanting to ask you that this is what they're trying to figure out because i thought like this person could have lied to you they could have lied and said that they was not interested in the same sex or they could have lied okay and that really could have set you to fuck off or triggered you and wanted you like you could have really wanted to go off on this person they could have lied about them not being in the same sex a lot about them and this person and how they know them or whatever's going on or how they was linking up with this person but some of you guys here they could have even lied and said they was going here or they was doing this or hanging out with this person but they was they was with this person who's in the same sex relationship like this is a man by the way or like this somebody has masculine energy and I feel like they could have thought that this was going to work or this facade or this. There could also be an alibi somebody's using for a long time. But I feel like you got too smart. You figure it out. This could be somebody here who's overcome with a lot of emotions right now. Um, specifically because whatever they did, okay, whatever they wanted or they got what they wished for. This person could be trying to communicate with you through music and other mediums here. Um, because they're miserable. They're miserable because whoever this is who they were hiding this same sex relationship with. Alright, they could have said this person was a friend. Or they was having phone calls or conversations or whatever it was with this person. Whether he was around. Or whatever the fuck was going on. That's a no. Like, the way they was going about it. The way everything was going on. This is a no. And now, this person is in danger. Because now they're realizing how... how this person truly is that they have a same sex relationship with like that person crazy that person crazy as fuck like crazy as hell like will kill them and kill themselves like they never gave a fuck or like they'll do some type of weird crazy ass shit over that man over that man okay and this person could have been wearing a mask for a long time and they were gonna shoot anything with this person that person was wearing a mask to try to make it seem like they were the better option or you know um they was lying to this person like the person who crazy they was lying to this person. They could have had money or like they was paying this person or doing whatever it was or trying to people please or please this person in a way to continue to betray you. Okay, to make them seem more attractive or more valuable or whatever it was, but it was all a mask. It was all a facade. Now, whoever your ex is, and this doesn't have to be your recent ex. This could be like one of your exes, whichever one it is. Um, this person is literally like having an epiphany. Or well, they recently had an epiphany here about the lies that this person was telling to them. The lies they told to you. Or like just how they got themselves in situations where they just, they just be lying and shit. Like it's like 
you paid this energy forward or you put this out so this is what you're getting back all right and this person could be trying to act like they're in bother trying to like have this facade people a mask um the fact that you know they feel for the lies or like they're in a situation where they can't get out or away from this person they want to get away from this person they want to stop dealing with them but they're already in hell baby buckle up you're already on the roller coaster like this reminds me of final destination when the girl was already on the roller coaster and she kept trying to get off to get off to get off she was wanting everybody nobody listened to her and everybody ended up dying on that fucking roller coaster on final destination and you know the, the movie just kept on going like that could be a significance but whoever this crazy ass person is in a same sex relationship with your ex your ex is losing their motherfucking marbles right now and this person they even try to contact you okay or they want to contact you here but they realize like the way you responded or you set it off or you don't play or like more importantly um the trap or like the the the, the, the role you play the role they play like the role everybody played in the situation or how everything played out like this person is thinking like that and they're thinking like they should have just did the fucking right thing or they should have just handled it how they were supposed to handle it um, but I feel like this person was living a fast life but I thought they thought they was this and that or they thought they were somebody that they wasn't. Okay. And now whoever this ex is, child, um, they're trying to breathe, they're trying to relax, they're trying to get their marbles together, or like they're trying to how do you say, pull it together over there. Yeah, because they're like they wanted to purify their vibe, sage sage card. They wanted to purify the vibe or themselves or the situation. Or like, they're just wanting to, like, get away from this person. Because now they're realizing they're sleeping with the enemy. Like, this person, yeah. Like, they could have thought they had power in the situation. Or they thought that it was, like, having a way or whatever it is. Or, like, they was planting seeds that would turn to something. They were going to something. Or this situation would benefit them. Like, even with them playing you to the side, okay, they forfeited their miracles. They forfeited their blessings. Or, like... You know, they also forfeited their energy, okay, unbeknownst to them, okay, they forfeited their vibration, um, they forfeited their transformations or like any type of growth that they were supposed to be experiencing or they were already having, okay, and I feel like now this person is wanting your support or they're wanting some type of clarity in the situation or they're looking for people here to like hear them out, okay. Or hear what they're going on. Or like, yeah, towel at the bottom of the deck. Like, this person going through a towel moment. And they're, like, wanting to get away or, like, seek a refuge. Or anything or anybody. And it's like, nobody wants to help them. Seven of cups, four of cups. Nobody wants to help them. Nobody wants to hear this person. Or, like, people may know how the situation played out between you and this person. And, like, they really don't fuck with them because of that. Yeah, ace of wands, page of swords. And, like, people are just watching this person be fucked over. People are just watching this person have their new self, their new life, that new dick that they was wanting, or that new coochie they was wanting, or whatever the fuck they had going on here. And people are just talking about the past and how they should have did things, how things could have worked out. But, you know, even your ancestors, they ancestors, they just telling them, like, look, this is just how the cookie crumble. This is just life. Like, that's just, that's the situation you put yourself in. You make the bed, you got to lie in it. And five of wands, this person could be fighting with this same sex person. They fight with this person a lot four swords here or they could be fighting to like in a situation or literally fighting for their life like i told you this person is fucking dangerous that they're dealing with knight of wands with the food card and they could have thought they was green or they could have thought they was playing with this person but now that that person done revealed themselves and took that mask off all right your ex is losing their marbles they like whoa like yeah with the moon card they're like whoa was that always there was this person always like this for swords like now they're trying to get out of situation or this person could literally be trying to fight for their life six of pentacles or like trying tooth and nail okay to get somebody to like work alongside them to help them or to help them get out of this or sneak away or rid themselves of this person okay or they will be but the thing is that with the two of wands this person already made the decision or like once they did what they did they already left you behind okay and I feel like nine of swords, this person could have really hurt your feelings. Or they could have really made you feel hurt and made you feel left in, make you feel anxiety, anxious, uh, make you feel victimized, or made you feel as if, you know, with the eight of wands, that temperance card, it could have been a lot of rumors, a lot of gossip, a lot of things being talked about, or it could have just made you feel like, damn, I'm thinking everything is just fine, but it's not. Or I'm thinking this is one way, but it's not. Like, you know? 
like yeah with the sun card the knight of wands i feel like yeah four 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 you are protected from this situation everything that is going on all right with the knight of pentacles and the two of wands but this person is going to try to double back or text you or call you or whatever it is but with the high priestess what you need to know is that this person that they're dealing with is fucking crazy with the world card and like everybody's starting to see how the situation is or like this person could be trying to like dress up and like they got a good life they got good news everything in their life is good or they have any way but the community everybody knows like the whole world knows this is not what it is or that ain't what it is yeah with the seven of cups and the star card this person could be wanting to pull straws or wanting to try to figure out like how yeah with the ace of swords queen of swords how can they come talk to you how can they tell you the truth or how can they give you closure but with the higher call your ancestors saying with the two of cups king of wands like this person is a fucking player and they played themselves right into the situation they got themselves in all right yeah eight of pentacles the world call your ancestors saying you might as well just keep your head down focus don't even talk to them with the page of swords so don't say nothing just sit back watch and look at what the fuck is going on here the same way they made you feel the same way they want to feel if not worse for pentacles even though this person tries to hide it they cannot hide this or even if they try to move away or distance themselves or cut people off or whatever it is it's not going to change nothing yeah this is like their fate ace of cups and now this person is looking for any or anybody or anything to help them they may even try to come to you to talk about a situation talk about help or they could be trying to act like they talking about one of their friends or somebody and like some of you guys you may already know what's going on but this person hasn't like made it apparent or like for those of you guys who do know what's going on they know you know what's going on the lover's card they may try to like fake kick it or pump fake like oh i don't fuck with them or this is going on that's what's going on but like two of swords they don't really want you to see the severity of this tower or of the situation here okay for with a cherry card knight of cups ten of pentacles they could be needing money help or like they're wishing on a star literally all right with the will of fortune somehow get out of this bad karma this bad situation because they didn't realize how crazy this motherfucker was like and whoever they got this same sex relationship with like this person is like crazy crazy like get a check crazy like go to jail crazy like 72 hour hold crazy like blue pill crazy all right and i thought it was going on you have a new mission coming up you got blessings coming up um, and this is like yeah caught like i said sister wives this person wanted you to play sister wife or sister or brother husband or whatever fuck it is whatever type of shit going on but i feel like they got caught and now they're trying to make you pick up this mission death card or like you have a new mission coming in you got like what you bought in your life you got a new mission new assignments new all this shit coming in like this is gonna be like a false thing or like a false thing where like they're gonna try to mimic that energy to where they could come in and you could help them blah 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 and all that shit but it's like the nine of wands seven of wands um not nine of wands nine of swords nine of swords and the seven of wands you're being told to like keep it moving with the lover's card like i said they got their lover they kissing the bride over there and that's just literally what the fuck it is you got the cherry card with the moon card let them stay in the dark let them continue to see what the enemy ten of cups they wanted what they fucking wanted they wanted their big happy family or however they want to deal with that motherfucking person ace of cups they gave them the ace of cups what the fuck you? you know what i'm saying what you saying fuck me for like you know you could have felt like that all right in the past but yeah with the tower card i feel like do not help them ace of cups they want some type of help they want some type of solace they want some type of refuge hell no Yeah, but the food card, I feel like continue on with your path. Continue broadening your horizons. The Eight of Pentacles working hard, getting your blessings, moving forward. All right. Um, yeah, because when it comes down to everything, like I said, these motherfuckers, this is giving like law and order. It's giving first 48. This motherfucker thought it was puppy love, but now like it's giving like snapped. Like this person, whoever the fuck they're dealing with, the small thing they do, they're going to snap on this person. And, like, when I say dangerous, like, this is somebody who, who will literally hurt this person. Will hurt them, hurt their pride, hurt their money, hurt their pockets, hurt their reputation, and don't give a fuck. All right, but with Six of Wands, like I said, you winning. You don't realize that this was actually a savior from this situation. Everything for, for you was going uphill. We got the Ten of Pentacles. We got the Wheel of Fortune, Six of Wands, and the Six of Swords. Beautiful energy, by the way. Um, we got the Page of Cups, and we also got the Nine of Wands. I feel like, you know, keep that guard up. Don't miss that door. 
don't you know how you know how to listen to a, a radio station or something and they be like don't touch that dial we'll be right back yeah two of swords i just feel like mm -mm, don't help them get clarity don't help them with shit with, your, with the magician card they manifested that for themselves they did what they did they had you in competition with this person they had you trying to play sister or house or brother cousins or whatever the fuck going on here and they got caught they got caught but now they get caught it's just the fact that the situation this is your this is their karma protect your peace your bliss but like i said ignorance is bliss and now they're realizing with them being ignorant or the moves and choices they fucking made that they're realizing like they want to come express their feelings or they want somebody to hear them out or hear what they're going through but it's like you know they ain't shit to talk about <clears throat> your actions speak louder than words there's somebody here who their actions definitely spoke louder than words but it's like now they should listen to the other actions of the other person like I said, it says, I forgive all of those who have done me wrong in the past as well as forgive myself as I couldn't have responded in a more evolved way than I was at the time. But forgiving somebody does not mean they have a past to disrespect you again or they have a past to fuck with you again. I just feel like you feel good about yourself, your life, you bring peace into your life. And, you know, keep that energy. Keep that vibe, okay? Yeah. This is somebody here who just genuinely wants you to fucking help them for their own selfish reasons. All right. If you was in a position like this, they would never fucking help you. Or if you were dealing with a domestic violence situation, or like if you were dealing with a situation where like this person is fucking dangerous or somebody's threatening you or your will, your life, yeah, sexuality. It says I have compassion for myself and for those around me. I let go of anger, resentments, or torments from the past, and I do not give my power away to those involved. But given this is the gift I give for myself, I forgive myself for things that I couldn't, that I feel I could have done differently in the past, and I remind myself that my response could not have been any more evolved than it was at the time. I'm compassionate to those in need, and this shows me that they are not alone. I practice this by listening, sharing, understanding, and being of service. And this is what this person wants you to do. And then you have the sexuality card. It says, I'm open to the positive sensual feelings coming to me from others. At the same time, I keep my sexual activities well directed and in balance. And I feel like this is what this person wants you to do, like, but at the expense of yourself. Yeah, they feel like, like, like this person don't want to take responsibility or, like, the responsibility or, like, you make your bed, you lie in it. The person don't want to lie there. And they keep trying to say, all these cards keep saying, I know, I, it says, I know I couldn't have acted in a more evolved way than I was at the time. But regardless of that, this person still may even want to communicate with you and, and you know, explain everything to you and this is what it is and this is why it went down like this and da 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 But this person only wants you to help them get in touch with positive thoughts, their truth, you know, help them. Um, this person is also of, of uh, abusing substances. All right, could be smoking a lot, drinking a lot, uh, doing different types of drugs and shit like that. Their mind is not clear. It's cloudy. They don't have any boundaries here or they're mad because their boundaries are being violated or they're being crossed. But yeah, this person thinks that they're open um, to receive and they are deserving of you doing this for them, okay? Or they think they're deserving of you coming to play this role or helping them or asking them, like, what do they need and trying to help them manifest positive outcomes in their life. And this person brought nothing but negative outcomes in your life. This person could have definitely affected your self-worth for your self-esteem. All right, yeah. It says, when I respect and approve of myself, others will naturally do the same. I teach others how to treat and respect me, but how I treat and respect myself. And I thought this could definitely be you, but I thought this person was not mindful of you. And it says, I choose to respond to all situations from an enlightened position rather than just to react. And I feel like you really could have reacted on them in the past and really showed your ass. And even if you did, you didn't even go as far as you could have went. Okay? But yeah, this is somebody here who thought they was in control of situations and what's going on around you and whatever it is, but... This person couldn't be truthful and accept themselves or accept the situation that's going on. So this is how they played it. This is this is how they played it here. Now they want you to change your intuitive perspective to fucking come into union with them or, you know, try to find common ground with them and all this other shit. Like, you may be eager and ready to move forward and they will as well too, but nah, they need to sit in their shit. You got yourself in it, you get yourself out of it. Because if you would have never found out, this would have still been going on. I want you to remember that. If you would never found out or, you know, things would never happen the way they happen, you'd probably still be dealing with this person. You would probably still be around them. Or more importantly, this person would still continue to gaslight you and act like you were seeing things or you're imagining things or you're crazy or whatever it is and continue to manipulate your free will. Yeah. Okay. And in turn, steal your abundance from you or like more importantly, not help you. Okay. Or block you so you wouldn't be able to receive what you're needing or your rewards or what you're supposed to be rewarded. All right, and then interrupt your inner harmony and your outer harmony as well, too, because they go hand in hand. Yeah, let's go ahead and use some advice here for the collective. I mean, for Aquarius, shit. 
um yeah i feel like when it comes to your next moves here this person um they may even try to if you do talk to them this person going to also try to falsify some type of information Are they going to go overboard? So, yeah, Roxy's, Oxy's, and Ecstasy's, okay, or pills, period. Somebody could be doing those. Yeah, somebody could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. Don't have to be, yeah, weird. I just feel like you need to stay away from this weird energy or, like, don't let this weirdly manipulate your emotions. All right, yeah, when it comes to you, I feel like you don't need to be nobody busted, baby. They got their busted baby over there and they get that ass bust up. Let them be bust up, okay? Um, like I said, this person is also somebody who follows behind the, their peers, their family, the street. So let them continue to do that. And you don't do that. For some of you guys, um, you may need to work with some aromatherapy or some magic oils, essential oils, you know, etc. Or anoint your home or anoint your life or whatever. But this person wishing bad on you. Continue to stay on cruise control, okay? And that's just period. Alright, but this is the reading. I really hope you guys love it. And I will see you all later.